Hi folks, this is my garden. I've lived here 38 years and I've had a garden every year. I still enjoy it. It's summertime and time for fruits and vegetables to mature so they can pick and eat. The fun part, fresh juicy tomatoes so you can put a slice on your sandwich, make a BLT or a fresh salad. I believe that the key to healthy eating is growing our own produce. One of my favorite things to grow is tomatoes. Your garden may not be the same as mine, but we still have a few things in common. My experience in growing tomatoes over the years has produced a plan or procedure that works every year. Whether you're a beginner or experienced or an organic gardener, you probably have one or more of these frustrations. Oh boy, this is a situation where uh, we have a nice tomato vine. Looks like it's nice and healthy and everything, but uh, there are no tomatoes on it. The reason is because it's not getting enough sunlight. It's playing, playing inside and uh, it needs to be outside. All right, here's a case of blossom end rot. Uh, I found that uh, by putting lime in the hole at the time you're planting your tomato, it will prevent this blossom end rot. That's, it's a calcium deficiency. Right, this is a situation where you had a late, late blight. You see where the leaves are uh, swimming, dying, and uh, that's a bad situation. Cutworm. There's uh, one thing you can do about uh, cutworm. Uh, that is, at the time of planting, you can wrap a piece of paper or a piece of foil around the tomato plant so that the, when you plant it, the paper or the foil is about one inch above ground and one inch below ground. And that will keep the cutworm from cutting your tomato plant. And here's the famous tomato hornworm. Uh, he's busy eating with the leaves on the plant. And in just a short period of time, he will strip a tomato of all its leaves. Tomato fruit worm. He's uh, digging into the tomato here and uh, he will soon be inside eating the interior of the tomato. Nematodes. Nematodes uh, attach themselves to the roots of tomato plants and uh, they can cause serious damage and they will live over from one season to the next. In other words, if you have nematodes this summer, they will live over to the fall, the winter, and be there the next spring. If you place your tomato plants in that same spot, they will attack the new plant. Stink bugs, that's uh, something that is uh, undesirable for your tomato plants. And leaf rooted fruited bugs, you don't want any of those in the garden. Animals, birds, there's some things we can do to discourage birds from uh, eating your tomatoes. Same thing with squirrels, chipmunks, rats, and then deer. So we'll be talking about those uh, a little later. Poor soil. There are several uh, things that uh, contribute to poor soil. One is that uh, they may, when they were constructing your house, they may have been digging a basement. They may have thrown the subsoil out onto your yard, and uh, then it would be difficult for you to grow tomatoes in that subsoil. In tree roots, it's difficult for your plants to get enough uh, water, moisture, uh, when that tree roots pressed, and then uh, uh, non-rotating crops. Uh, they're, they're again like the nematode. Uh, you need to plant the tomatoes in a different place the next season. Companion plants. There are some plants that you can grow at the end of your garden or in your rows or in between your tomato plants, and they will help discourage predators from coming in and feasting on your tomatoes and tomato plants. And there's some good insects too. Uh, one that comes to mind is the praying mantis. That's P-R-E-Y-I-N-G-M-A-N-T-I-S. That's a good one to have around. Now, pesticides, I use those as a last resort. And uh, one of the one that uh, I have used in the past is uh, liquid seven, S-E-V-I-N. 
even though people ask me how I grow them every year, I never really taught a class about growing tomatoes. But now I finally decided to teach this class because I want others to experience the same joy that I have. And I love helping families by producing good food right out of their own garden. That's why I put together a training program on how to grow the very best tomatoes year after year. On this page, there's a place to subscribe. And when you subscribe, I'll send you the details of the Homegrown Tomatoes class.